Hello, my name is Joel Miller and I'm a naturalist over at Dinosaur Hill Nature Preserve. We typically partner with Oakland Township Parks and Recreation to deliver fun and unique programming to you, the public. Unfortunately, due to the global pandemic, we weren't able to deliver on our frog class earlier this summer, but we have a digital version of it ready to go, so let's go on a frog hunt. Come on! Frogs are insanely cool, and you don't need to be an expert in the field to be able to find them. Here in Michigan, nearly every body of water that we come across will have examples of these amphibians in them. Personally, when I'm out on a frog safari, my favorite place to check out is Bear Creek Nature Park. Hidden within the duckweed are hundreds of frogs that are masters at camouflage. Typically, I don't even see them until they've hopped away. Another of my favorite spots is Lost Lake Nature Park, where we can usually find some pretty beefy bullfrogs. I mean, just listen to how many frogs there are out in the marsh. Being amphibians, they go through a very special maturation process called a metamorphosis. This transformation between the stages of their life is so distinct. Frogs begin their lives as eggs laid upon the surface of water. And trust me, there can be a lot of eggs. Those eggs hatch, not into miniature frogs, but into tadpoles. This is the larval stage of the amphibian life cycle. Although many tadpoles grow quickly, the bullfrog will actually stay in this phase for nearly two years. As they continue to mature, the tadpole begins to grow limbs and reabsorb its tail into its body. We call this phase a froglet, and you can see it kind of like the teenager of frogs. Once that tail is fully absorbed, we have ourselves an adult frog ready to lay more eggs and continue the cycle. If you're out on a frog hunt in Michigan, there are 13 possible species to discover, each with their own unique call. These might include the Western Chorus Frog, the Northern Spring Peeper, Gray Tree Frog, Blanchard's Cricket Frog, a Wood Frog, Northern Leopard Frogs, Pickerel frogs, mink frogs, green frogs, and bullfrogs. And although more difficult to find, these friendly carnivores will occasionally find their way over to our homes. Just like this gray tree frog. These incredibly adorable warty frogs are common throughout most of Michigan where there is plenty of moisture. They're super cool because their color can actually change depending on what's happening in the environment. These guys are carnivores eating a diet of insects and occasionally their own tadpoles. They are nocturnal, which means they're active during the night but can still be found during the day sleeping beneath leaves or porch furniture. They're able to climb most surfaces because of those really sticky toe pads. Just something to take note of, frogs are drinking and breathing through their skin, so it's best not to handle them as oils from our hands can soak into their skin and make them sick. Thank you very much to Oakland Township Parks and Recreation for sponsoring this video. We hope you had fun, and we do hope you learned something. You guys have a great day. Bye.